Yeah, my, my name is Worku Gobao, and uh, I'm with the program uh, for, with Salon Mission for a year, but with the, with the most for about six months. Okay. And Leo? Yeah, oh, I'm Leo. How long have you been in the, in the program? Mm, I'm here for nine months at, the, at this program. I was volunteering before for over a year already at Salon. I'm from South America and Paraguay. And I came here around 10 years ago, but then now I started getting homeless. I started with Salon. When I first was in Canada, I did at the, I think I was at Talis or at Woods, like Labor or whatever, yeah. Uh, I, I was a uh, resident grown in Ethiopia. I came from Ethiopia as an immigrant to Canada in the 90s. And uh, I was in the Navy in, in Ethiopia, so when things go wrong, I left the country to come to Canada. Uh, here I, do, uh, I was basically mostly in the transportation uh, business. I was driving, yeah. Well, the most program uh, helped me a, a lot in my life because I, I, I believe it's the cornerstone to change your life uh, and, and to coming into, uh, in, going to the right direction uh, as the way I look at it. And uh, I'm still participating in the program. Uh, it helped me uh, with, uh, to achieve my goals in, in, the, in, the, in the future. Uh, it, it, I was going with some training in here, and uh, which, which, which will add up all together how to change life into the better. Well, we're working you know, in, in different uh, training programs. Right now, I'm um, with, uh, with Building Futures at the Salon Mission, uh, at training at the Madison uh, uh, place. We are training in construction situations. So are all the gold in the employment area or in, there other uh, areas? Yes, in the employment areas and then uh, achieving with some other training programs uh, with family duties and uh, how to deal with the public and uh, how to come up with a clear mind. I might, the program was helping me that I could help other people. That was my goal for a while. Now I can do help other people. Uh, well, the, the program is uh, here through the transition office here at the Salon Mission, and uh, I, part I get a chance to participate in the most program. And the program is like usually uh, going outside in the business areas, cleaning uh, some trashes during the summertime. In the winter time, um, cleaning the snow for pedestrians, which, can, which makes them easier to have access to. Uh, most business areas, especially in the downtown area. And after the program is finished, we come back to the station and uh, get some training with uh, a different kind of things uh, from basic computers into uh, counseling, into uh, social services, and, and uh, lots of things uh, going. Yeah, that was for, I don't know, a few years ago, I had a friend and he offered me to come eat at Salome, okay, I just came here a couple of times and I offered to volunteer right away, I volunteered for over around one and a half years and I asked for a job and they got me a job now. Okay. So how did you actually hear about the, the most program in Building Futures, how did, how did that happen? Uh, that was from the friend what I had down, what he offered uh, to come at Salome, I went he did at the most, uh, most team for a while too, and he asked me to come there, help them out. Okay, I just came volunteering here. Uh, well, that. you know, uh, at, at one time I made different bad decisions and bad friends and uh, went wrong and uh, become uh, homeless. So uh, I asked about where to go from here and how to start my life all over again. So. Uh, I heard about several machines, so I went there and uh, uh, in which I can get any help. So from basic needs up to uh, up to the most program, I was stick with them, and uh, that's how I get involved with in the program. I was pretty much all over the place, and I was uh, drinking at that time a lot of time. After that, I got homeless, and I started with Salome. 
Well, um, it makes a big difference now than which I started six months ago, which is uh, being in the program. Maybe. Being in the program have made a, a big difference in my life, uh, which is uh, try to forget the past and deal with the future and have a good uh, try to achieve your goals, uh, which is. Uh, uh, that's how I did some training and that's how I'm participating in this program. So hopefully um, and uh, I, I get paid to do that in which I can deal with my debts, in which I can uh, deal with, with, with uh, some kind of necessities which I need to come up with. So it helps me a lot in dealing with these kind of things. Mm, I would say the past was pretty much down and now I'm getting my financial stuff going more better up. It's easier for my life now. You know, uh, most is not only just uh, clean up the streets. It's also uh, to fix your life in a better way, in the right direction, in which uh, uh, you can get training uh, from uh, counseling into, uh, as I say, basic training and uh, there's occupational therapist uh, students coming here to give us some idea about how it's life is and how to completely change your life and aim into your new goals, to, uh, how to achieve them. Okay. Yeah, it was before I started with, well, just before I started with Salome slowly, but now I'm trying to help other people too more than I did before. That's my goal for the future. I like to help other people. Well, if the new guys come in and into this program, I will uh, uh, tell them how, what I did for the last six months and how I went through. And then I want them to be patient and stick with the program if you want to achieve your future goals. So uh, maybe it may not fit for them, maybe it is, but the, the main thing to achieve uh, your, your goals is to stick with the program. I would just see if they could, uh, see if they would help other people if they want to do that. And you can help me or us on the street and keep the street clean. And just help other people too. It gives me some uh, tools uh, how how to uh, cope with daily life, uh, like uh, how uh, including like budgeting your money, for example, that's part of the program. Counseling is another thing. So I have much more better uh, idea and attitude which was done six months ago. So uh, I believe uh, hopefully to continue. So you know, like if you think about five years from now or. Sometime in the future, do you have do you have any ideas at all, kind of where you would like to to be, or what 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 you would like your life to look like in, in the future? Well, in the next five years, I want to be my own boss, if possible. Maybe one day it will come, and I want to get a full time job, and uh, I want to you know I want to help people, which I get helped, and I, I want to practice all those kind of uh, things on achieving the main goal and being completely out of the streets. I would say I like to be my own boss too then. I just want to help other people too. That's the main thing what I'm I'm going looking forward to see in my life.